Hello, hello, this is It's Prize. Welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for the support. I'm receiving a lot of support from you guys and I cannot take it for granted. So today, if you're actually watching right now and I want to subscribe, please kindly subscribe, like my videos, yeah, and turn on that bell so that you get to know any time that I'll be uploading. Today I have uh, a guest and we'll be talking about something new. Yeah, yeah, my guest is here, right here. You are going to see him just in a minute. He'll be introducing himself. Yeah, he's already smiling behind there. <laughs> and today, he will tell us the topic of the day because he's the one who's going to be leading the discussion. So please, uh, my guest, introduce yourself and you take it on from there. Hello, hello, everyone. Good, uh, is, it, is it still good morning? Yeah, it's good afternoon in Uganda. Yeah. But there are other people whose time uh, whose time is different from ours. Maybe good afternoon, good morning. Um, uh, we managed here some prizes guest today on its prize YouTube tell channel. Them uh, I'll kindly. Tell them in your language. Yeah. Tell them in the other language because what you're going to talk about is somehow in that yeah. area. Yeah. yeah. By the way, you have to talk your language and then tell them to subscribe those people because they'll be watching. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Everyone is watching. Kindly subscribe. Subscribe to its prize. Abirwanda Travasuhuje. Abi Burundi, Awa Congo, Bumvich Nyarwanda, Nijifumbira. Kindly subscribe. Since the COVID has subscribed, Mumvich Nyarwanda. I can't remember when you have gone to Kura Koka de Karihasia channel. People from Kenya. They say what? Mamba, you've, you've already learned from the time you've been with your sister. Mambo, Kenya people. But so what are we going to be talking about today? Already to, we, we have the topic, but you know, <laughs> we are going to be actually comparing Nairobi to Chigali because they are like, oh, you keep comparing us with Uganda. So today I have a guest who has knowledge about both cities, Nairobi and Chigali, and he'll be com comparing that too. So where do we begin from? Okay, the comparison between uh, Nairobi and Chigali, I think I'm just going to talk on these two cities based on my own analysis it's not based on anyone's analysis because i've been in these places more than 20 times maybe each okay around i've been there several times because it's closer to home but Nairobi, i think i've been there more than 20 times uh people who are planning of going to nairobi or chigali i think i need to give you some bit some hints we, I will start maybe from how you reach there, especially, <coughs> excuse me, okay, um, talking to now people coming from Uganda, though also other people can also benefit. You can access both countries by air and by land. The Someone coming from Uganda, you can access uh, Nairobi through uh, Malaba and Busia by land, then uh, Jomo Kenyatta by air. And Chigali, you can access it from Uganda through Katuna, Mirama Hill, that is in Ntungamo, then Chanika in Ksoro. You can access it through those three border points. By land, by air, you can uh, go through Entebbe to Chigali International Airport. And uh, of course, the distance is also different, especially if you are coming from Kampala to Chigali. I think it's almost 500 kilometers, so you, cro um, or you closely take around 10 to 12 hours. Then Nairobi, which is more than slightly more than 600, I think it will also take around 13, 14 hours. Then when you reach these two cities, you the mode of transport is slightly different because with uh, Nairobi, uh, okay, I can It's not so different, really. Though in Nairobi, I think it's more busier than uh, Chigali because in Nairobi you have okay, you're on Uber, you have these special hires which are not on Uber. Then uh, you have these matatus. They have also those uh, 
like big buses i don't know how i forgotten the name which play very loud music so you can <laughs> you, <laughs> you know my sister was saying that in kenya they play mi- loud music in matatu eh yeah, so but they have the there is there's a matatu but there's some other one which is like big it also has these funny <laughs> pictures <laughs> like uh, uh, there are some funny photos like these ones of the raga Musicians? Those uh, musicians, they have very big photos on those buses and um, okay, the matatus. What about Rwanda? They have eh? the matatus also? Eh, Rwanda, Rwanda only has a special hires, then plus matatus, uh, border borders. Though the border borders don't reach the city center, once even you are in Kigali, uh, even in Nairobi they stopped them. Though I think the new governor was uh, encouraging them to come back, which I think is also not good because Nairobi without a border borders has been so good. Because it used to be chaotic like Kampala. You know, in Kampala borders find you on pavements. It was the same thing with Nairobi. And that is the same reason as why they had actually banned them from entering the city center. So once you are in both these two cities, Nairobi has day and night life. Back to the transportation system, which mm-hmm. one then has better transportation system? Uh, Before we go to the night life, don't forget that one. Yeah. The deal from there, when was uh, no, the bet, no, I can, uh, I, I, I wouldn't want to give that comparison because Nairobi is a big city, it has a very big population. And Rwanda, Kigali, has a very small population. Yeah. Of course, about transport, uh, it's easy to access transport in Nairobi, both in the ev- in the night and day, especially the, the public transport. But in Rwanda, public transport stops at uh, 8.30 Rwandan time. That is almost 9.30 Ugandan time, public transport. So. Why? After that time, now that has been the law for the, as far as we've gone to Chigali. W- so, an advice of maybe people are going to Chigali, once you're in Chigali and it's beyond that time and you want to go like up country, there is no mode of transport. You either have a pri- your own private car or you need to maybe like jump on an Uber. Then now uh, with, uh, I think, still on transport like in Chigali, these special hires, the border borders, they have meters. You don't negotiate. You need to go with that. Uh, our that's Ugandans who are used to negotiating for everything. Yeah, that's Chigali. <laughs> you don't negotiate. So once you the car starts yeah. moving or the border border starts moving, for them in Chinyaronda they call it Mubazi. Once it starts moving, the one who is riding you or driving you has to switch it on as per the law. Because if they are arrested by Rwanda Revenue Authority and they find that machine is off. So who is taking the money? You're in trouble. No, they you pay them, but that machine... They, people don't have private motorbikes? Eh? Like, I cannot, like, like how we have border borders in Uganda. Mm. I cannot go together with my border border and do business? Uh, no, they need to put that machine on before oh. you start doing business. <laughs> Yeah, because they want to know how much the government no, no, is no. taking on no, you. That's very hard. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, where, uh, in the car where there is a radio, that's where they put that machine. Actually, it's the government which installs it, not yourself. It is put like on top here. So. But that means life there is hard. I can't say it is hard. They are a bit organized. So because you cannot cheat the anyway, government. Okay. Yeah. In the long run, you cannot cheat the government. But these people don't have personal business. Like I cannot have my personal car and it's mine. Why am I paying the government some money? No, it's uh, you're supposed to be part of the, your country's development. <laughs> you have to contribute taxes. Even me here, as I speak, mm. I pay my taxes promptly. My withholding. Yeah, but at least like so I'm contributing. So it's even when I'm doing business, even if it's my car. I'm supposed to make money, but the government is also supposed to benefit from okay, my on money. on that point, can I have my own car? Mm. Private cars, they won't have those meters. No, 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 they don't. But, but like in Uganda, people with private cars, sometimes they meet people and they want to take them and they beg them. Yes. Can that happen in Chigari? No, 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 no. I don't think so. Uh, if like you're, you're doing it... Neighbor, 
I find now we, 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 my neighbor will always go to Chigadi and mm. he don't have a car. He can always take and pay me. Eh? Yeah, that can be an internal arrangement. But you have, <laughs> you have to pray to God, to the living <laughs> God, that they don't catch you. Because once they catch you, you know not they, like it. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Then uh, the Kenyan side, uh, the transport is available anytime you need it. Any day. Any day. Though of course, night, I think I wouldn't encourage. It's a bit risky. You need to be careful, but you can access uh, all the taxis, uh, Ubers, special hires. Then border borders outside Nairobi. Because uh, those bikes uh, I've seen in Nairobi, I think they only carry cargo. They, they do postage, they carry food, but not passengers. What about the roads? Roads and buildings, compare the two cities. Um, like Kigali is a very small city, but beautiful. Because you see, I think of it being in uh, hills, eh? there's a way so it looks now. It being in hills, there's a way it looks nice, especially like in the night. Because you see, oh, of course, you comparing definitely Nairobi is in its own class. But Kigali, being small, with its own buildings and uh, the green in the city, the, they have walkways, okay, as opposed to, okay, maybe the better thing with Kigali, better than Nairobi, okay, like on infrastructure. I can say like almost all their roads are paved for pedestrians. The, the pe pedestrians, they have walkways on all the roads within Kigali. Then uh, Chigali is lit the whole night. Then Nairobi, it, Nairobi is lit, but some places aren't. But Kigali, all the roads going out of Kigali are lit in the night. They have security compared to uh, Nairo Nairobi. Kigali, they deploy soldier, so soldiers every night, January to January. What so are they scared of? you are secure with your phone on the road. <laughs> no one will touch you. <laughs> eh? No one will touch you in Chigali. I can assure you, in Chigali, there is a. Uh, you have. Morning. I think someone's there. You check your phone. If it's, I'm not posing, if it's. If it must be an important person for you to take this phone. I, don't, I want to have one long video. I don't. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't want to be editing, editing. Okay. Important? Okay, I'm saying that uh, Chigali, you are 100% assured of your security. You can use your phone even when you're walking on the road. Because the beauty of Chigali, however, some people don't like seeing soldiers on the road, but me, I'm more comfortable seeing those soldiers on the road. They deploy on all the roads. The way you see lights on the road is the way you see you meet like 10 soldiers here. You move in front, you meet like 20 policemen. You move in front, you meet like another group which has no, which is not armed Only with at guns. Night, what about during the day? No, during the day they are not there. Uh, so, but during the day, I think they also have private, uh, okay, people who are security people, but are putting on private uh, clothes, mm -hmm. which also gives you assurance of security. So you people, once you're going to Kigali, just best be assured that your security is guaranteed. Mm -hmm. And even if they steal your phone and it's being used within Chigali, a hundred percent you get your phone back. As opposed to Uganda. Maybe we pause. Maybe it's important. Let me pause. Okay, we are back. If you're still watching and not subscribed, please can you subscribe and turn on that bell so that you get to know anytime that we are uploading. So, uh, how were we before we were interrupted? We're talking about uh, security in Chigali. It's very good. Uh, I think security in Chigali is compared very good. Nairobi, yeah, compared to Nairobi. And the compared even to Kampala, all the East African capitals, Chigali security is uh, appreciated really. Hey, eh? President Kagame, Kabista, I salute you. You <laughs> so, sorted out the security <laughs> issue. <laughs> eh? 
even their police is better responsive uh, when once you contact you it. Mean even if you steal these small small phones, they as long as it can be tracked. Oh, the, as long as people even report when you use a phone, you report. Yeah, p- people you report. report. You see the good thing with the, these original phones, they are, they have IME numbers. So even if someone changes the a SIM card, it they track it using that number. So it's easier. So even if they saw it in Xoro before you mm. open your eyes, actually people who steal phones like in in Rwanda, they sell them outside the country because once they remain within the country, they once get you them. switch on and you still there in Rwanda, they get you. They get you. So which is not in our Nairobi. Nairobi is our biggest city in East Africa, but ah, uh, you need to work on your security. <laughs> and maybe the advice I would give the new administration of Ruto, President Ruto, of course that's the new administration, which has not been there. It's I think now almost like three months now. I would advise them to deploy security uh, security personnel who are not putting on uniform. I saw, I think on news last week, they are trying to deploy, especially under these foot uh, foot bridges, a uh, security. But you see these thugs, they will see, when you, they see you putting on uniform, they will, they will know how to plan for you. But if you are putting on uh, private clothes, I think you can somehow try to manage and deal with that problem once and for all. What are we also going to compare? What else are we going to compare? Chigadi, Nairobi, what else? Uh, we have already finished transportation, the infrastructure. Or maybe we can we um, can still include other other places, I mean if like uh, uh, tourist places, uh, but something okay. like that. Maybe we can also talk about uh, uh food. Yeah, food by the What's a simple food? No, they stay, they take Irish, but uh, their main food is chips, <laughs> ifiriti. <laughs> hmm? That's mm. a staple food? Mm-mm. No, <coughs> excuse me. For them, uh, like, w- they always, we call, st- in Uganda, I think we talk, when you're talking of staple food, we're talking about matoke, so sweet about potatoes. Kenya, it's ugali. Ugali. No, in Rwanda, is Irish. In Irish, but they like ifiriti. Eh? Once they talk of ifiriti, they that? mean chips. Mm. Mm? A typical Rwandan meal will have chips, rice, beans, meat. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> then plus juice from Ibinyomoro. Like this one, the red, red inside, and so the, 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 ah, yeah, the best juice. If ah, you've never taken, very sweet, uh, but I didn't know uh, I've never made juice out of ah, it. it is the best as we even make it home. Mm-hmm. But those things are very fun. What are they called in English? Hmm? Uh, uh, they are Bitter called tomatoes. Or? Uh, something tomatoes they are called <laughs> yeah. I'm not so sure about the name but I think it's something tomatoes okay. so with food mm. okay somewhere somehow the Rwandan food is more the more closer to the Ugandan food because you still meet matoke and very far from Kenya food uh, because of course once you cross uh, Kenya you need to be fan of uh, meat Especially chicken plus beef. So what about nyama choma? That's eh, that's meat. Eh, not, not not nyama, nyama choma. choma is roasted meat. Eh, uh, it's muchoma. roasted meat. Eh, it's muchoma. Then you need to eat uh, sukuma wiki. Yes, yeah, sukuma. Eh, kaunga. Then they have uh, uh, this bean. It's called what? This mixture of beans and uh, maize. Beans and maize Giveri. seeds. Eh, Giveri. That one in Kenya, they eat it even in schools. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> in Rwanda, I think they only they only serve it in prisons because I've not seen that. Plus homes, people in homes eat it because like Kenya, they've taken it. I think even in schools they yeah. serve it. It's normal meal. Mm. 
But in Rwanda, a typical Rwandan home, they eat it because like it used to be food of long time. And I think it, it's also more nutritious. You know, once you're eating something, it still has the cover. You know, the nutrients are always within the cover. As here in Uganda, we remove the outer cover, remove the middle cover and eat the inner <laughs> Uh, number one, <laughs> number one. <laughs> uh, and now it's funny in Kenya they call it uh, porridge if porridge. you make push if you make push in our number one here or uh, this other part one is what called what not uh, maganjo mm. you know of course actually maganjo that's number one it's just that it is in a it is in a ca- it is in a paper cover mm. Mm? the Kenyans will call it Porridge, even if it's you've made push out of it, yeah, they still want their, uh, or their original push, which is hard. Mm. Yeah, but may I enjoy it. I don't eat push in Uganda, but when I'm in Kenya, yeah, you like that one? Yeah, because I was I eat it for fun, you know. I've been this side eating matoke, matoke, <laughs> matoke, so as I cross on the other yeah. side, but that's a big difference between the um, Y- yeah, it's uh, completely different. You cannot compare their uh, foods. Mm-hmm. It's completely Can different. Can you compare the education? Uh, no, the edu- education is still, of course, is also different. Uh-huh. Yeah. Explain the difference. That's what we want. Eh? No, the we education, the you know, the edu- of course, Rwanda has been affected by uh, genocide before. So, yeah, so many struggling. things, they are still trying to put things in order. But I think they're on the right track. In the right track, because even I think the way they are managing their, uni- their universities is a better way. Because you see now almost all the universities in the country are under one name, University of Chigali. So meaning that uh, they are trying to follow up about the quality you know it's easy to follow up other than having different universities with different administrations uh, so so somehow i think even kenya is still maybe like yeah like how you said we cannot compare Kampala to nairobi maybe it's same thing with yeah because even Chigali is small it's very yeah. So we stop wasting people's time. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's no, it's not wasting people's but I have time. Some stuff, I know that I, I uh, know the staple food of Rwanda, like uh, Irish. Uh, like uh, who gets has Irish as staple food? Uh, it's not wasting <laughs> people's time. At least they've known, you know, you. Yeah. And of course, there is also a lot they to have look like for. Animals yeah. like forests, mountains. Yeah, they do. They because also Kenya have. Definitely, they have. What they about do. They. Uh, of course, now if you are to compare their tourism sectors, mm. Kenya has its own unique animals. What's in Chigali? What's in Rwanda? Rwanda have their own unique animals, which Kenya don't, which Kenyans don't. Because if one wants to watch mountain gorillas, mm-hmm. it's Uganda and Rwanda. Yeah. Uh, the, one of the fa- the gorilla families is shared with uh, Mugahi with Ma- Mugahi, y- Uganda on the Kisoro side. Mm. Have those gorillas Rwanda has. So if you want to watch gorillas and you have two options uh, of Kenya and Rwanda, you will have to go to Rwanda because there are no gorillas in mm. Kenya. Are mm. there are mountains in Rwanda? Yeah, it's here. You know, it's called like a country of... Like Mount uh, Kenya, Mount what? N- no, Rwanda is called... I don't a mean hills, hills, uh, hills, hills, I mean like... Yeah, they, they do, they, because we share with them uh, Mount Mahavula, Mount Sabino, but those ones you see as you go to Rubavu. What about lakes? Eh? Lakes. Uh, lakes, I think they have uh, this one they share with Congo. It's uh, Lake Kivu, uh, which touches uh, Goma and... Uh, Everything the they are sharing, they don't yeah. have on their um, own? No, they also have those other small lakes inside, <laughs> like uh, Lake Muhazi, but those are small, no, those are no, small. No, no, no. But even in Kenya, other than the uh, other than the Indian Ocean, it's the wa- biggest water body. Yeah. I don't think it has like lakes like the way Uganda is. No, we have many lakes in oh, yeah. Uganda. Oh yeah, in Uganda. 
we have uh, we have almost like 26 lakes with fresh water i'm talking about ah, fresh water oh, the green water eh, ah no lake victoria is one which was mismanaged and has green water but if you are talking about lakes with fresh water because i'm sure kenya even those other waters other than the india even i think indian ocean might be a salt but uh, with and those are now like the lakes in rwanda they have fresh water compared to the other side because you see rwanda is in a volcanic area so its water is really good but are there hospitals in rwanda like how we hear of uh, you know like big hospitals uh like of, of course hospital. they have uh, they have i think Which like king uh, king faisal i What's think is that we don't yeah. know that one. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> that's a private hospital. You can compare it, uh, okay, private, uh, but uh, partnering with government, you can compare it maybe with like Nakase Hospital. Okay. Then they also have like their own uh, Mulago, and I think there are other. But, but I don't hear like anybody is going to Rwanda for treatment. Like eh? the person has failed in Uganda and they're taking that person to Rwanda. No, of course, uh, but how many Rwandans do you know? You might. Uh, you are here. <laughs> you are here. That's why you should be telling me. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've not been there. Me, I'm, I'm from Bila, from Kisoro. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I think we end this here. Because like almost, okay. yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. if you're still watching, can you subscribe? And we have come to the end of this video. Thank you so much if you're still watching up this point. And uh, we're out of here. Unless there is anything like, uh, is it there or no? Yeah. I think it's not there. You've already concluded that <laughs> that's <laughs> not there. Hey, you people, we are looking at uh, promoting the whole region. We know we've been talking about Kenya, Rwanda, Uganda, but these are part of the bigger community called the East African community. We have six countries currently in East African community. So people outside uh, our community can still come and support us come and uh, enjoy the beauty of uh, east africa now i'm promoting east africa i'm no longer ugandan and you will continue I'm and end the video i will just check. and i'm and i'm <laughs> <laughs> currently i'm an east african citizen even my passport is east yeah. african so we are promoting integration so kindly overlook our comparisons we are doing we are just uh, learning from each other so just support us as a block bye bye